of a local family found earlier this week. I got a really good feeling about this. <laughs> The first in a long line of October horror releases, Sinister is taking on the heavy hitters with a plot about a ghost with stringy black hair, no not that one, who keeps popping up in video footage discovered by true crime novelist Ellison Oswald, played by Ethan Hawke. As Ellison begins to uncover more about the murders he's researching for his latest book, poltergeist activity in the house escalates much to the chagrin of the Oswald family. While Sinister is undoubtedly derivative, it does manage to create a fair amount of tension and intrigue throughout the first half of the film. However, after a brief appearance by a bloated and gray-haired Vincent D'Onofrio, the film takes a sharp left turn into Shitsville. The blame for this falls squarely on the shoulders of writer-director Scott Derrickson, who does everything in his power to turn what could have been a respectable horror movie into a steaming pile of bull semen that rivals only Derrickson's past horror flops with its aggressive ineptitude. Suspense? Who needs that anymore when you can have Ethan Hawke spend the better part of the second and third act stumbling around in the dark like the mere thought of touching a light switch is more terrifying than the ancient demon that found its way into his house? And why not bombard the audience with loud noises and cheap jump scares? See, that's just annoying, isn't it? Did I mention that the aforementioned video demon looks like Sting? No, not that one. In the end, you certainly could do much worse than Sinister, but a movie like this could have been so much better, and that only serves to magnify its many flaws. Thank <laughs> you.